Fade in. Interior. Classroom. Evening. Alice sits in front of an old projector, trying to get it to work. Alice finally gets the film threaded. Light flicks on, breaking her concentration. She looks over, sees Elle, and waves her over. Hey, um, Alice, can I talk to you about something? Is it Oliver? Yes. He tried to bail on tonight again. That's like the third movie night in a row. I mean, I talked him out of it, but you don't think it's me, do you? Like, I'm annoying or something? No, L. It's the anniversary of the car crash. He just wants to be with his brother right now. I know, but he could talk to us about that stuff. I'm here for him, you're here for him, but he just keeps crawling back into his little show. I know, Elle. I hate it too, but there's only so much we can do. But then again. Oh, hey, Oliver. Hey, you guys. What are we watching tonight? Uh, some old movie called The Music Box that Alice picked. Some old movie? Al, The Music Box is a piece of history. I figured you, of all people, would appreciate it. Oh yeah, because all history buffs love old movies that no one's ever heard of. Hey, <laughs> what the heck is this? Read it. The first copy of the film has been destroyed. Second copy to be delivered to Constance Pulitzer at Craigmore Sanatorium. Your strictest confidence, Lon Chaney. Okay, but what is this? It's an actual telegram from 1914. Oh, oh come on, guys, aren't you curious? Maybe if it's real. If it's real. Lon Chaney, AKA the man of a thousand faces, Constance Pulitzer. These are big names for a film major. What? Where did you find this movie anyways? Help me and I'll tell you. Help you what? Find the film they're talking about on the telegram, L. Oh. You think this is real? Yes, I think it's real. Lon Chaney, Constance Pulitzer. Ooh, big names. Yeah, I think school is enough for us this semester, don't you think? Maybe. Look, it's probably nothing, guys. But let's find out. Let's go talk to a history professor. Let's go talk to Professor Sandoval. Well, that's an idea. So you will help me. No. Uh. Fine. Oliver and I will go. If Oliver goes, I'll go. I don't remember agreeing to any of this. Come on, Oliver, please. If we go together, and between class or something, I will think about it. Signed by Lon Chaney. Where did you three find this? We were hoping you would be able to tell us what it means, Professor. Well, this one goes back to 1914, but this theory is so outlandish, even back then it was immediately discounted as viable. Well, all the same, could you tell us what the theory is? On 
On June 28, 1914, Archduke Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated, which plunged Europe and eventually the U.S. into World War I. On that very same day, the silent film star Lon Chaney was directing his first film, a film, by the way, that no one has ever seen. Starring in this film was the most beautiful actress of the day, Margaret Clayton. She had met Archduke Ferdinand while making a picture in Europe the previous summer, and it was love at first sight. Okay, but what does this have to do with the telegram, Professor? Well, the story goes that Archduke was actually in Colorado Springs seeing Margaret, and that he was accidentally caught on film by Lon Chaney's cameraman. Wait, are you saying that Archduke Ferdinand wasn't the one assassinated? Why would Austria allow people to think that? Well, the theory also states that they knew about it, and they wanted it, because that was their excuse to plunge Europe into World War I. Like a way to get back at Britain and France for the scramble for Africa? Precisely. You were paying attention in class. So, where was this film supposed to be shown? Well, at its premiere showing at the Colorado Springs Opera House, there was a fire, and the film was destroyed. But this telegram that you just sent me says that there may be another copy that exists to this day in Colorado Springs somewhere. And how does Constance Pulitzer fit into all of this? Well, that was easy. She was a patient at the Cragmore Sanitarium. Here's your medium coffee. It's really hot. I thought that meeting with Sandoval went really well. To think, we've stumbled upon a genuine conspiracy theory. Alice, you don't seriously believe anything the professor was saying, do you? Of course I do. He literally studies history for a living, Elle. I think he knows a thing or two about it. Besides, I thought you looked up to him. I do. It's just... I just think... It's just... Alice, can you please focus? I am. I just think this is a little too crazy to run head first into, don't you think? No, no. See, the reason it's so crazy is exactly why we have to run head first into it. What? Hear me out, guys. What if the three of us went looking for this long lost film? Lon Chaney shooting a film with Archduke Ferdinand of all people and then losing it in Colorado Springs. I mean, come on, it's too outlandish. Yeah, but that's what makes it fun. It's the possibility that it could be true. Imagine all the history you'll be making if you found this film. You can finally make history instead of just reading about it. Well, that does sound appealing, but I just- but what? There are no buts. Okay, I'll admit, there's a lot in this for me. None of my scripts have been working out lately, but this, this has the potential to be a great script. If we can pull this off, my film professors will eat it up. I'll help. What? You will? Yeah, I mean, I have nothing else better to do, so why not? Yes, Oliver, my favorite best friend. Uh, hey. Joking, joking. Oliver, I'll dedicate the film to you. Uh, um, don't you only dedicate films to, like, dead people in memoriam? Well, then I'll name Oliver in the special thanks to section of the credits. There you go. That sounds like a good idea to me. So, El, what do you say? I mean, where would we even start? Colorado Springs is huge, and it's not like we have much to go off of. Well, it would have to be somewhere historic. Somewhere that's been here since Lon Chaney's time. Somewhere that used to show films in the past. I know just the place.